What's going on guys? This is Names with Names Repairs. I'm in the garage now and I know it's been a long time since I made a video but hey, I have been neglecting my daily driver since I bought it. The Mercedes C180 compressor W204. Remember the previous video I had bought a new daily driver. So ever since I bought it, I never serviced it. I never did anything in it. The funny thing is all other people's cars have been given attention and yet I couldn't give attention to my own daily driver because I was so busy. But hey, thank you very much for the 1,000 subscribers, guys. It's been a long time coming and thank you very much for your support. 1,000 subscribers. Woohoo. Anyways, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and let's dive right into this car that I need to take care of. It's the last one. It's a nice summer day in Ireland today. And that's it. It's a nice summer day. It's very hot now in Ireland today. But um, the pads the other side, they're good. But the discs are worn, so I'm just gonna check the other side now how it's looking like. Let's have a look. I have to drop this wheel down. I hope I don't get the trouble here. Like I had the trouble there with these bolts. Same, the discs are worn, but the pads are good. So I think the job is to change the discs, not the pads. So it's a 17 mil and a 13. Basically that's out. She's not too tight, but she's a bit stiff she is. Ooh, that must have been a longer one. It's different from the others, they're very tiny. What's going on here? <laughs> Why is she tight like this? Oh, there was a bit of a thread locker in there. That's her, she's out. <laughs> I see why. Now, that's loose. But we need to take out this. There's an 18 mil here behind. If you want to see it, it's just behind here. So you're gonna have to turn the wheel this way to make it easy for yourself to access it. If anybody ever asks you what's the most easiest thing to do on the Mercedes, it's a brake job. Everything on the bands is straightforward, man. There's nothing hidden about these cars, unlike the BMW. I hate them. Uh. Caliper moved with it, but the disc is out. That's the ninth, another 18 mil out. And this comes out like that. So that's the situation there. 
the disc fell out because I removed the little fastening bolt. So the car had a disc problem, but people kept on changing the pads. And this is what happened. Right, I've got my pads here. They're all APEC and they're good. And the discs are here. But the thing is, there's no need for me to change the pads. The original pads are good. Because then if I just remove them and put on the new ones, they'll be useless. They'll never fit anywhere else. So I'd rather leave them, let them wear out. And then when they do, when the time comes, I'll put in the good ones. So it's time to take a small break. Not that I'm sponsored by Coca-Cola, but I'm thirsty and it's really warm out there. So I'll just take it from here, put in the new discs and that's it. Apex to me sounds like a sound system company. But is there such thing as fitting the discs on one side and they come in singles and that's crazy because nobody would change a disc on one side. Everybody fitting out the discs, they don't fit on one side. They should be coming like in pair, like two or three, but you know, trying to make more money out of everything. That's the situation here. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up that place and then put in the new disc and then we're gonna move on to the other side. This is the new discs and these are the front ones, I suppose. And you just have to check them in diameter, but these are really, really good. And I will clean them with this brake cleaner. Because they come with oil. So that's it. And they're nice and dry for now. So I've cleaned them up, but I've got to have to clean my space up there. I have to clean the seat where they're going to sit on. So let's go outside and then clean up that place. Surprisingly, this never came with this fastening bolt, but many of them come with a new bolt and I'm wondering why this didn't. Some cheap as shit. <laughs> Just align your disc with the holes in the hub, tighten a little. Now she's sitting in there. Everything is back in reverse. The way you took it out is the way you're gonna put it back in reverse. This is just hand tight, it's not to be too tight. Otherwise, if you round it, you will be sorry. Like I said about the pads, these are still new, so. There's no point in changing them because if I do, they will be useless. They will never go anywhere else. So, Same order that you took it out is the same order that it's going to go back. So remember at the back here, there's this two 18 mils, one at the top, one at the bottom. Now that they're all located in place, it's just tightening them up. Put the pads there. I don't have a brake wear sensor that goes into this, but I'll get it. That's a job for another day. I didn't realize that I forgot to get them. But in this case, you just take your caliper and you slide it back in. In my case, I don't think I need to rewind it. Do I? I probably do now because the disc is bigger. Okay, that's just temporary there because I need to push back the piston a little bit. With the new disc, it's drama. Just basically use the pad to push back the piston. That's been pushed back a little bit. Let's take it out and see if it's going to fit. Using the old pad still, and you are going to do the same in your scenario. That's in. Yep. And that just went in peacefully without a squabble. 
<laughs> and the last one, put it back in position. Basically, that's it. Let's do the same for the other one. That's tight enough. With that done, this side is completely finished. We have a new shiny disc in place and the old rodent one is out. So what I'm gonna do, the process is the same. Just copy and paste this to every other wheel on the vehicle. And that's that for the day. But I've just did this my own way. Literally like you have to start taking out these bolts first and then you go for the 18 mils caliper carrier. After that, then you wanna do this with this or any other tool that you have available and the disc will be out. So it's now a matter of copy and paste. I'm just gonna copy and paste this back and front, it's all the same, they're all the same. The shape of the back ones are just different, but the process is the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste the situation here to all the other wheels of the car. All right, so in the back, the only difference you're gonna get with this is that instead of a 13 mil and a 17 holding each other like that, you find this hex or CRV7. It's a size seven hexagon. So all you have to do is put it at the back there. But literally everything is the same. It's just a game of copy and paste, that's it. On the 2022 Sprinter, you can literally just lift it from one side, but it's the same as well. Try it out a little bit with whatever you have, just don't dethread it. This is the difference. In the front you have the 13 mil and in the back you have this. So make sure you have one of these when you're doing this work. And another thing, it's this spring that hold, 
holds the pad and closes it in. I hate them. This design is like a BMW design. There's also these little cups that closes in. So you just take a screwdriver, a flathead, and then just poke it out. It's this little plastic here that covers the bolt. So yeah, this side is done. It's just a matter of putting back the wheel. And that's how you change discs and pads on a Mercedes W204. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one.